Just watch country music's biggest night. The CMA Awards aired tonight with an iconic lineup. Good evening and thanks for joining me. I'm Katina Rankin. My co-anchor Richard Ransom is live on the red carpet in Nashville tonight. Okay, Richard, what a celebration. Katina, it was quite a night, and you say I'm on the red carpet. They are literally rolling it up as we speak, so we won't be here much longer. But, yeah, great performances. I think it absolutely lived up to its billing again this year. Let's get right to the video. And, you know, they were billing this the uh, the year of the woman, and uh, Bur Bridgestone Arena was absolutely packed tonight. So Carrie Underwood, a host of the show, is keeping with the theme, uh, Living Legends, Reba McIntyre, and Dolly Parton also hosting uh, to bolster the point, which made winning Newcomer of the Year that made that much more special for Ashley McBride. There you see her. Think about this. Not long ago, she was living in Memphis, performing on Beale Street in Minglewood Hall in Midtown. Tonight at 36, she is country music's newcomer of the year, and I asked her about Memphis's role in her success. The rock scene and the blues scene is so real and so palpable there that if you'll just let yourself soak it in, it will come out of your throat. And I found out that my tendencies that I had that didn't really fit in everything I was singing when I was growing up, that's where it lived and that's where it came from. It's still Memphis. When I say I'm going home, I say I go to Memphis. Now, that was on the red carpet before she won. I've just got to show you some video. I took it with my cell phone, so forget the photography. Uh, aft, at the backstage area where the press could ask uh, different uh, winners uh, questions, and she was just hamming it up, enjoying uh, the moment so much that uh, she won this, this distinguishable award. And she said she was so impressed with how the country music world has just embraced her. And she also talked about uh, her, she's just so genuine, you know, she talked about all the ink she wears and she says she loves to tackle issues that makes people uncomfortable. And she says, if you don't like what I have to say, so what, you can deal with it. My songs are only three and a half minutes long. So she was just a real joy. Uh, and I think we're gonna be hearing a lot more about her. Now I wanna talk about Zach Williams. He also performed tonight and he is a Christian uh, country singer, but he's from Jonesboro, so we can claim him too. In fact, he's proud uh, to say that Memphis is home for him as well. Being from Jonesboro, uh, not being too far from Memphis, I grew up on Delta Blues and country and rock and roll, and, uh, and then my dad was a worship leader growing up, so I was in church, and I remember just kind of all of that music being kind of this melting pot that I've, over the years, crafted into to my own thing, and, um, you know, now to be here after growing up as a kid, you know, listening to country music, I mean, it's a dream come true. Every now and then, he performed with Dolly Parton tonight. It was quite a performance. Uh, the single that he record recorded with her, uh, "There Was Jesus," the name of it, and he uh, and she did just a quite a job. It was an amazing performance by both of them. And you know, I told you that they were rolling up the red carpet. Let me show you. I, I literally mean it, Katina. The, the red carpet ends right there. <laughs> and they're not only rolling up red carpets, they're rolling up news vans. Uh, city of Nashville, tell our news vehicles. We're going to have to take care of that after the newscast tonight. Back to you. Well, in the words of Ashley, just soak it in.